my name is Shirley Dong. I am a recruiter at MX. Was super excited to be at Ruby Conference this year. So today I am going to share a little bit more about MX, what we do, and why MX is a great place to work. So let's start with a short video about people experience at MX. Every great home has a foundation. At MX, it is people, product, and purpose. We really empower our team members with autonomy so that they have the ability to take on as much responsibility as they want. Each one of us seeks to perform at the highest level, driving each other and the teams to collectively new heights. Come build MX with us. Build MX. Build, 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 build. Come build with us. No better humans, no better place to work. Come build with MX. At MX, we believe that data and technology can be used to create an experience where people can understand their finances and make good decisions with their finances. This is the mission that MX has, and I'm proud to be part of it. Our mission and vision are what I'm truly passionate about. I want to help people improve their financial lives, which ultimately makes their life that much better. We define culture as the way we operate together on a daily basis to move forward the mission of MX. I think the culture at MX differs in the sense that there's nothing taboo. There's no red lines. No matter what role you're in, you're able to give your open and honest feedback. Where MX is different is that we have applied the discipline to operationalize the values in such a way that they are instantiated throughout the organization. I feel that the passion that we have here is infectious. For me personally, I really need to work for a company that I am really proud of. We are a company, first and foremost, of builders, of creators, of individuals who stand at the precipice of tomorrow and say and know and have the confidence that the only way that tomorrow is manifest is through our very own hands. Incredible people are changing the world in finance, so come build with us. Yeah, MX, we are very purpose-driven. So all of the products and solutions we provide to our customers, we want to make sure there is a positive impact in their financial life. Because we understand there are still so many people are still struggling in their financial life. So our company mission is to empower the world to be financially strong. So right now, we partner with over 2,000 large banks and credit unions in North America region. There are over 30 million end users in our platform. We got tons of valuable data in our platform. So as a company, we started our business in um, 2010. This year, um, back to February, we raised $300 million in our CVC financial fund. Right now, the company valuation, it is $1.9 billion. It is basically double unicorn. <laughs> so as a company, we are over 750 people. But I can tell as a recruiter, this year, next year, we still have a really exciting growing plan. We're hiring a lot of people. But more importantly, at Max, we have amazing company culture. We got tons of awards. For example, last year, we got nominated one of the best place to work in the fintech space. <laughs> so a little bit about MX, our products, how we accomplish our company mission, right? So there are three top product pillars in our solutions. First, it is about our connectivity, how we bring the financial data in. Second, it is money experience. We provide really valuable digital banking and online banking platform to actually give people the tool to access their financial life. Third, 
it is our data. So actually, we help people access the clean transactional data, help them make much better decision in their financial life. So this is how we accomplish our company mission. So next, I am going to hand it over to David McNary, my coworker, to share a little bit more about people experience and company culture. Awesome. Thanks, Shirley. Um, great to be here. And I love what Shirley said about MX and really where we're going. There's definitely a lot of growth going on. Uh, one of the things that Shirley mentioned that I, I want to bring up again is the fact that we've been nominated as one of the best places to work. And I think a big part of that is because of our values. The values here at MX are, are integral. They're not just words on a wall. They're things we live every day. And as you can see here, we've got all of our values listed. Um, for the sake of time, I can't go through all of them, but what I will do is I'll go through the one that really stands out to me, which is our founder's mindset. So here at MX, we are um, a team of scrappy individuals that think like CEOs. So even though you yourself would not be a CEO, you're sort of the CEO of your own job. Like we give you the autonomy and the power to, to do what you need to do to make an impact. And we value your opinion as an expert. And so that's one of the things that I think makes MX a place where you can you know, stand tall and then really bring your best self to work, which has been really a fantastic place to be, even for somebody that's only been here for about six to seven months. So, so that's one part is our values. And then the second part is actually the way that we give back to our employees and through our community. So obviously there were things that happened last year that uh, threw a wrench in the way that we did our business operation. Um, we, for the most part, would do breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all of our employees. We'd have tons of break room perks, massages, um, you name it. We had the perks there on site. But obviously things changed last year. And we had a lot of business relationships that we were worried were going to expire um, because we weren't able to still bring those same perks with nobody coming into the office. And so one of the way that we were able to give back is we were able to donate um, and we still continue to donate all of those perks to local food banks and to first responders and local law enforcement. And that's one way that we do that. And to this day, we've been able to donate over 24,000 smoothies and bagels, which is pretty cool. And then um, again, we, um, we're still donating and we're still trying to take care of our employees. We've got uh, work from home perks. We've sent over, I think, 4,000 packages sent since last year, and we still continue, still continue to send those out. And then we've got uh, events, virtual events that, you know, still help teammates to, to work together and to still feel part of a, a bigger picture, which has been a lot of fun. And, and since things have started to slow down, we've started to trickle things in person, um, but we still really focus on that virtual aspect. And so that kind of leads to where we are today. So we, you know, first are a remote employee, employer. Um, we do have a site in uh, Lehigh, Utah but we're definitely looking for people nationwide. So all across the board, we've got engineering, we've got product, we've got advocacy, client success, you name it. And then we've got our um, QR code if you wanna check that out and see what other opportunities we have. And then um, also um, today, if you're here in, in the hall, we'd love to have you come by and check out our booth. Um, we have a fun game going on, it's called our Hacker's Revenge. And uh, if any of you like to code and you've got a healthy sense of competition, we'd invite you to come in and check out that booth so you can come be a part of that. We've got all the instructions on how to play. It's pretty straightforward. And we've got big prizes that you can win. Like we've got two Nintendo Switches. We've got a Segway scooter. We've got iPad Pros. And so we've got two more rounds today. And then we've got a speed round for the winners of the two competitions today. So we definitely recommend or encourage you to come over to our site. We'd love to see you. And then um, we also have another um, presentation today actually talking about the making of that game. So definitely encourage you to come check that out as well. So um, thanks again for your time. We're excited to see you all and uh, look forward to talking to you more soon. Thanks, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Al Samps. I'm a technical recruiter at Doximity. And this is my colleague, uh, Chris Woodridge of engineering. Today, we're going to cover a little bit about the Doximity about the people and about a little bit about, about the, the company um, and about work, the work life at Doximity. So Doximity provides software application products and services in the healthcare industry. Our company mission is to connect healthcare professionals and make their lives more productive. We're prim primarily known for our social network and our telehealth products that help members within our social network connect and communicate with each other. It also allows doctors and healthcare professionals to contact and communicate with their patients. 
At the Eximity, we're proud of the work and contribution we make that helps healthcare professionals, who in turn serve to help the people of our society. We're excited that the work that we do and our products we provide helps to do good in the world. The biggest assets of the company here are by far our people and culture. The culture of Doximity is one of achievement, accomplishment. One of our core values is get stuff done. We are doers. We solve problems every day by treating obstacles like an adventure. Another company value is we stretch goals. Innovation requires us to push the limits and we challenge the assumptions and shoot for the stars. We sit, well, straight talk, we say what we think and every voice is heard and respected. Transparency makes us stronger. One of the other core values in our, in our organization is one of, of uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, and we know that, that uh, diversity in, in the workplace and in our offices and among our people uh, helps us create better products and makes, makes for a stronger, more um, diversified team. Uh, one of our other core values is bring the real you. We bring our quirky, unique selves to work. Diverse personalities um, help create a more interesting and creative environment. And as I mentioned earlier, diversity, equity, and inclusion are a hallmark of our greater achievements at Doximity. I'm sorry, let me just finish up here. And that way I can um, give the, turn the time over to, to Chris. Um, our products and services serve the healthcare industry, but we are not a healthcare company. We're a technology, a technology company. And it's the way that we implement our technology that sets us apart from our, for most technology companies. We average, we average over 120 changes to production daily. Um, and I'll say that again, we average over 120 changes to production daily. Most technology companies can only dream or dare to accomplish such a feat. Anytime you're making iterative changes to all your products at that frequency and volume, this is the breeding ground for innovation. Seasoned engineers flourish in an environment like this. And this is the type of environment most software engineers prefer to work in. Many of our engineers have worked long-standing tenures at Doximity of five to 10 years, some since the inception of the company. This alone speaks volumes to the culture and people of Doximity. Our work always comes down to the people we do our work with. And our engineering teams operate in a very cohesive, collaborative work setting. As a company, we're excited at the future prospect of telehealth. Wall Street projects that the telehealth industry will be the biggest industry in the next five, 10 years. And it's projected by marketers to be over $250 billion space. And we're going to witness and, and benefit from incredible innovation, products and telehealth, telemedicine in the next few years. And I love the privilege that it will be to make a contribution at a company like Doximity that has established a technological environment working alongside the people and the work culture to thrive in the future of telehealth. Thank you very much. I'll turn the remaining time over to, to Chris here. Thanks, Al. Uh, let's... All right, I didn't prepare for this either, but I'm gonna take a page out of the Aaron Patterson playbook and do it just in time. So we're a company since 2010. We have 80% of US doctors. There's a really good chance that your doctor is on Doximity. Hopefully he uses us daily or weekly to make their workflow a little more productive, a little more streamlined. Um, we ship quite often, like Al said, 120 pushes to prod across our microservices per day, every day, from about 7 to 5 p.m. No weekend deploys here. Um, we're about 200 or so engineers in total. Half of that is what you might call web, Ruby engineer, Rails, and then we have about the rest of that split between QA, test, data engineers, and mobile developers. Um, our stack is primarily Ruby. We have a little bit of Golang smattered in there for performance. Front end is DJS. We have some Python, especially on data, not too much on web. And we have a handful of node microservices that are uh, looking to get eradicated in the next year or two. We've been a remote company since the very beginning, uh, since 2010. Every state in white there 
is a state where a doctor lives and works. Uh, and I can, I'm a proud resident of Colorado now too. So I can say that uh, it's easy to move around as a doctor. Um, we're very proud to have a broad international representation as well, especially in South America, but a little bit in, in Europe. Uh, and we get together still, hopefully once a quarter. So that means flying everybody in, you know, just last week we were in Lake Tahoe, um, all like 600 folks or something like that. Um, we work for clinicians. So that's your doctor, that's your nurse practitioner, that's your physician assistant. That's everyone that supports them in their day to day. And they're the ones uh, who influence the next product that gets built. So every year we get all our doctors together into a, a medical advisory board. We ask them how to use the product, what are the pain points in your day? And they tell us basically, this is what we want. And we try to build that for the next year. We plan about three to, three to nine months ahead. And we have a kind of a, a our master vision though, is to support the lives of physicians and clinicians as they go about their day to day. Um, we ship often, right? We do code review. We try to ship small. Like I said, 100, 120 changes to production per day. We have a really wonderful test team. You know, coming from a smaller startup, it's something I totally took for granted um, or didn't even realize existed. And um, anyone can deploy. It's right there, right in the Slack channel. You know, you just say DocSpot, ship Doximity, and there it goes. Um, we are now a $14 billion company. Um, I think that's the second or third largest Ruby stack in the world by my count. Only Shopify is bigger. We're twice as big as GitHub when they sold to Microsoft a couple of years ago. Uh, so we've definitely probably flown under the radar. You're not a member of Doximity, but your doctor is. And we would love for you to come help, come work with us and build the tools that your doctor uses make him or her more efficient, more productive, a little bit happier. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff going on in Dexamity. Al spoke to the, to the uh, tenure here. We have extremely low attrition. I've been here for six years and I'm still working with some of the same people that interviewed me, you know, back in 2015. It's a fantastic experience. You know, fingers crossed, it'll be another six years. I've lived out basically my whole adult life almost. Uh, you know, I joined in my 20s and, uh, you know, I'm now in my mid 30s. I have three children, right? I've gone through every, every adult milestone uh, at the same company. It's been a wonderful, supportive, fun and challenging experience. Um, it's, uh, it's really a fantastic company. Come see me at the booth. I'd love to sell you a little bit more. Again, we're primarily a, a rail stack. So if that's your forte, uh, you can make a home here. And uh, that's it for Doximity. Hello, um, I am Olivia Papp. I'm a senior recruiter here at Weed Maps. I also have Alan with me, who's one of our engineers. Um, I'm gonna run through a little bit about what we do, our benefits, our perks, um, and then I'll hand it over to Alan to walk through more information about what it's like to work within engineering here. So what we do, we are a technology company within the cannabis space. Um, most individuals know us more so on the consumer side of things. So finding dispensaries, brands, education about products, promotions. Um, but what I do wanna highlight is our suite of products on the business side. So we work with dispensaries and brands to help drive business into their locations or to their brands. They utilize, utilize us to create more transparency into their business. Um, they can utilize orders, ads, deals, and a variety of other products within this suite to run their business. In terms of some of our different benefits and perks, so we are remote first. We do have an office in Irvine, which is our headquarters. And we also have an office here in Denver. Um, individuals are mainly remote at this point, And so we do offer a budget to get set up at your um, home in the office. We also do have a variety of different happy hours and educational sessions around the industry or around our products that we host within, internally as well. Um, right now we also have re-up Fridays. So that is one Friday off a month um, 
for a re-up wellness day. We do get snack boxes sent to our house, which are a fun surprise each month. Um, and then in addition to that, there's a variety of different ways to get involved internally as well. So we have a variety of different um, contests and competitions that we do. Um, we do different wellness competitions, um, different pumpkin carving. We just had a Halloween one with costumes. Um, and then my favorite is weekly bingo. It does get pretty um, competitive in Slack. And if you win, they do send you prizes to your house. So it is a fan favorite um, internally. Um, we also have a variety of different ERGs. Um, we've also recently expanded these. So we do have women at Weed Maps, Noir at Weed Maps, Out at Weed Maps. And our most recent one that we added was Four at Weed Maps, which is a Latinx um, resource group here. Um, in addition to that, we also have teal groups, which are committees around social equity and justice um, and access to medical patients. In terms of our benefits, our medical, dental, and vision premiums for employees um, are 100% paid for. Uh, we do a 401k, we have parental leave, um, we also have family planning and fertility, as well as student loan repayment. I'll now be handing it over to Alan. Um, Alan's been here for a little over five years, so he has a really good understanding of what it's like to be an engineer here. Um, previous to being here, he was at 10X as well as Experian. And please feel free to connect with him on LinkedIn or um, on Twitter as well. So I'll hand it over to Alan now. Thanks, Olivia. What? Hey, everyone. Uh, like she said, uh, my name is Alan Zarato. Uh, I've been with Weed Maps for about five and a half years. Um, and uh, throughout that experience, I've met a lot of really cool uh, individuals um, that have just uh, helped me and mentored me uh, along my, my path here. Um, we have a diverse uh, set uh, of tech stack. Um, mostly we have our Ruby on Rails uh, monolith that is powering a, a large per percentage of uh, the, the Weed Maps ecosystem, but we do have some uh, auxiliary services uh, in Elixir, Java, uh, Node, and, and some React uh, front ends as well. Um, we are constantly evolving our stack. Uh, we are trying to go as fast as possible towards CICD, uh, which we're, you know, right on the verge of, of, of getting on there. We just recently started acquiring uh, some uh, some other companies that are going to be helping us out: um, uh, Sprout, CRN, Canbay, and, and Cancurn. That are uh, we're very excited to have, and uh, and you know, are just going to help us uh, grow this uh, operating system that we're building here for the cannabis space. Um, there's so much here. Uh, I've met so many cool people. Um, the mentorship is amazing. Uh, a lot of people are very eager to help. Uh, they're very passionate about the, the both the cannabis space and the tech side of things. And I think those two uh, just uh, bring in uh, just a great culture around everything. I mean, uh, e even during our EPD demos, we have our own DJ that like starts the entire show. And it's, it's just amazing. Just, I mean, think about that. Just having a DJ go in there and and say, oh, here comes this new feature that, that you just worked really hard on. It's, it's a great feature, a great feeling to have every single time that you ship code, you, you feel proud of what you're doing. Um, and, and yeah, we get to sponsor, uh, sponsor great um, venues like this. Uh, thank you for the uh, Ruby community to, for uh, inviting us here and letting us uh, just, just be here with all y'all. So um, if you are up for a challenge, uh, we do have a code challenge in our booth. Um, you can come and check it out. Uh, it's, it's not too difficult, but it's also quite fun. Um, and you know you can get some cool swag uh, there with us. So uh, join us. Uh, I would love to have you there uh, here with me. And uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Over to Olivia. Thank you. Yeah, feel free to connect with us on social media. Um, check out our careers page, or feel free to even email me directly if you're interested in any more information about open positions. Um, but stop by our booth, pick up some cool swag, and ask us any additional questions that you have. Thank, Thank you.